Hi, I am Owen White with Max Lay. Today's NASA News lineup is as follows. Top story on midterms by Rocco Colucci. High five on Leo Mojero with Carter Rockovich. Sports by Jeremiah Pranga and Cam Beer. Um, things to do by Colby Martin and Luke Meehan. Special report by Josh Devin talking about printmaking class. Health tip, eating protein with Leo Rodriguez. Around the World with James Shaw. College tip on Bridgewater State by Clara Capella. S Talent surge on P Paige Flanagan by Jasper Trees and Student Council by Car Carter Rockovich. I'm Max Lay with your announcements. Um, Nostad High School Open House is going to be on the 15th, uh, starting at 6 in the afternoon. The Brewster School Committee also meets on Thursday at 6. Aside from that, we have a few clubs. Um, the, uh, the Tabletop Games Club meets on Thursdays after school, uh, with the Model UN being before school on Thursdays. Thank you. This has been Max Lang and Owen White with the Anchors. Hello, I'm Rocco Colucci, and this is your top story. Midterms are right around the corner from January 29th to February 1st. February 1st is a makeup day. All of those days are half days. Uh, midterms are incredibly important to your final grade, and they can make and break your year academically. Today, we'll be talking with Mr. McGrath about the importance of midterms. I'm here with uh, Mr. McGrath. So, Mr. McGrath, uh, why are midterms so important? I think they're important because it kind of holds both teachers and students accountable of where they should be at as far as learning throughout the year. Um, kind of gives you how you're doing in your subjects, if you're understanding your subjects, and, um, yeah. Do you know offhand how much midterms are usually worth in front of grade? Midterms, I suppose, I think in, um, I think they're around 10%, if I'm not mistaken. It might be different class to class, but I think the usual standard rule is 10%. So it's a big part of the library. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is. Hopefully you guys spend some time studying. I'm Rocco Colucci, and that was your top story. Hi, I'm Carter Rockovich, and welcome to Student Council. First off, Happy New Year, and a big thank you to all Student Council members for helping out at the December Faculty Friday. Currently, the Council is fundraising for the upcoming Student Leadership Conference in March. For ways to help, please email Student Council President Jordan Auer at 2020hourj at nossetschools.org. Finally, it's never too late to join Student Council. If interested, advisors Ms. Kimmick or Ms. Topper will be available. Thank you. I'm Carter Rokovich, and this has been Student Council. Hi, I'm Leo Rodriguez with your health tip of the week. This week, I'm going to be talking about protein consumption. Amino acids are often referred as building blocks because of the small units that they use to build proteins and, and uh, repair the muscle. Animal protein is often uh, called complete protein because it's a high-quality protein. But on the flip side, uh, plant proteins are actually called incomplete because they don't have uh, one, at least one of the essential uh, amino acids. This has been Leo Rodriguez with your health tip of the week. Thank you. Hello, I'm Lucas Mien with Jasper Trees with Things to Do. This month, there are plenty of things to do around Cape Cod. First, we have the Cape Cod Swing Easy Jazz Band that will be playing 5 to 9 p.m. on Saturdays at Chatham Bars Inn. You can call 508-945-6871 to make reservations. Next we have on Monday, January 14th at 9 a.m. the Massachusetts Audubon Wildlife Sanctuary will be in search of the snowy owls. On Wednesday, January 23rd, there will be a wildlife lecture series called Changes in New England Bird Population. That will be at 6 p.m. and held at Cape Cod Beer in Hyannis. Last thing we have are the best places to bowl, but have more than just bowling. First, we have the Alley Bowling and Barbecue on 191 Route 6A in Orleans. Next, we have the Lanes Bowling Bistro on 9 Green Street in Mashpee Commons. Last, we have Ryan's 10 Pin Eatery, 769 Yonuff Road, Hyannis. All these bowling alleys are great places to bowl, eat, and have some other fun. Um, Green Book, set in the Deep South in the 1960s, it follows a musical tour of an African-American jazz pianist 
and it's about the relationship formed with his driver and bodyguard. Racism is a difficult theme, but Green Book delivers it well. I'm Jasper Trees. And I'm Lucas Mian. And this was Things to Do on NASA News. Thank you for watching. Hello, I'm Joshua Devlin, and I'm here for your NASA News special report. Today, we are inside of the printmaking classroom. We're printing onto onesies that we are later going to donate to the hospital for the nursery so that newborn babies can have a onesie to wear. And basically, this is what they look like. Hello, I'm here with Savannah. Now, Savannah, could you tell us a little bit about the printmaking process? Sure. So basically, you have a silk screen that you staple the screen around it, and then you put your image onto it, and then you place it on the shirt, and then you print the ink through the screen so that it shows up onto the onesie. Now, where do these designs you have come from? Me and Caitlin decided to make them together, and we came up with ones that were gender neutral for newborn babies. Where did the idea for onesies come from? Um, well, a couple donated a bunch of onesies to the school, so we decided to use them to do some good. Nice. Uh, can you tell us where they will be donated? Like, what specific hospital? Um, we are pretty sure that they're going to be donated to the Cape Cod Hospital. Nice. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. This has been Joshua Devlin with your special report. Hello, I'm Jasper Treese and this is Tyler and Tyler, and welcome to this week's Talent Search on Awesome News. Today we'll be looking at Tyler's newest bowl, he's made in Woodshop 2. Tyler, how long did it take you to make this bowl? It took me about two weeks from start to finish and the teacher, Mr. Hoy, helped me out with it a little bit, so. Was it hard to make? Um, honestly, with him helping me, it really wasn't. It went smooth from start to finish. Okay. What are some other things you've made in this class? Uh, I made a table. I made another bowl last year as well as a cutting board this year and last year. Um, will you be eating out of the bowl or using it for decoration? Um, this one's going to actually be for decoration. I'm not going to be eating out of it. Right, cool. Do you recommend people to take this class? Uh, yeah, I do. It's a great class. Um, is the teacher nice? Yes, he's really nice and helpful. He helps you out with everything you need. Alright, well thank you for your time and great job with your bowl. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and this was this week's talent search on NASA News. Thank you for watching. Welcome to sports. I'm Artie O'Neill. And I'm Dr. Zhao. First, we'll be talking about the girls' basketball team. The girls beat Marshfield on the road, 68-48, to January 8th. Avery Burns led Nossett with 14 points. Also playing well was Reagan Meehan with 12, and Francesca Gunnell uh, and Corinne Moresti with 9 points apiece. And as a final recap, Avery Burns was key as her points came from four three-point shots, according to her coach. On to boys basketball. The boys fell to Marshfield 70-48 to in ACL action January 8th. Nossett went into the game with a winning 6-1 record, but quickly learned that the Marshfield Rams were quicker and more physical. Despite the loss, Bobby Joy scored 17, Henry Blanchard 10, and Spencer Jones added 9. The Nossett swim team traveled to Nantucket January 5th for the annual Cape Cod Classic. Nantucket took the overall title on the day, but NASA had many impressive individual performances. Diver Delaney Smith was named the female diver of the meet, winning first place with 221 points. NASA scored 74 points as a team, which was good for third place and only five points away from second place Barnstable. On January 8th, the team traveled on the road to face St. John Paul in Sandwich. Both girls and boys teams won the meet and were led by Katie Kroll and Tim Johnson who had two individual wins apiece. Now on to track. NASA competed at the freshman sophomore meet on January 5th at the Reggie Lewis Center in Boston. NASA had many stellar performances, including Monique Malcolm, who took second in the 55 meter dash, setting a new school record in 7.38 seconds. Sophie Christopher set a school record as well, taking fifth place with a long jump leap of 15 feet 6.5 inches. Other notable, notable performances are Izzy Nobley, 4th in the 1,000 meter uh, run, Finn Riley, 7th in the 2 mile, and Richard Ramsey, 8th in the long jump. Now on to wrestling. 
The wrestling team competed at the Cohasset Invitational January 5th and had many great matchups, including senior captain Christian Beer, who took second place in the 182-pound division. Aiden Hanville at 170 pounds, Ethan Lucy at 138, and Spencer Granlund at 132 all finished 2-2 two and two on the day, which helped Nossett grab fourth place. Next up will be an ACL meet against Sandwich and then a quad meet against several off-cape schools. These results will be on next week's show. And finally, mark your calendars for Saturday, Saturday January 26th if you are interested in joining the boys' soccer team at their state championship dinner. The dinner will be held at the East Ham Elks Club. If you are interested in buying a ticket or donating to the evening, please call the school and ask for Chrissy or Rob LeBranch. This has been this week's sports, and I'm Artie O'Neill. And I'm Doug Rizal. Thank you. Hi, I'm Claire Capella with this week's College Notebook. If you're interested in an affordable yet good education near home, Bridgewater State University is the place for you. Bridgewater is a public school located in Bridgewater, Massachusetts. The school offers a diverse selection of special academic programs and has a safe, engaging campus and community. Bridgewater has many academic and special programs for their students. Paid internships and an abroad program are only a couple of the many special academic programs. Bridgewater wants their students to feel convinced they have chosen the correct major and offers paid internships to allow you to experience what you've learned in real life. Bridgewater gives their students the opportunity to study abroad, offering 75 programs in 35 countries spanning all around the world. They also allow the students to study abroad at places they have chosen. Out of the few colleges and universities that offer aviation, Bridgewater is one of them. The school has a selective group of experienced instructors and professionals supervising and guiding the students in aviation. Hi, I'm Carter Rothfitch, and this is High Five Student of the Week. Today I'm here with Liam O'Hara, who recently scored three pointers, three three pointers in the game versus Nantucket. Tell me, Liam, how do you think your season's doing? Uh, I think it's going pretty well so far. I'm looking forward to keep on playing well as a team. Uh, what is your favorite position to play? Um, I like playing forward. And uh, what position are you best at? Probably small forward. How many times have you made a goal this year? Um, I, I had five three-pointers against um, Norton a couple of years ago. Switching roles, could you please tell me what your favorite class is this year? Um, it's probably AP Psych. And what's your best grade? Uh, an A and an AP Psych, actually. Well, Liam, thanks for coming out. I'm Carter Rockbitch, and this has been High Five Student of the Week. Hello, I'm James Shaw with Around the World. In China, the, the world's largest ice and snow um, festival has just kicked off. The festival is named the Harbin Ice and Snow World. It spans over 600,000 square mile meters that includes more than 100 landmarks. It, also, it includes 3 million gallons of snow, ice and over 120 cubic meters of snow. It spans from January 5th till February 5th and is in its 35th year. Entry is $48 and includes sculptors from 12 different countries. In other news, an oil tanker has just exploded off the southern coast of Hong Kong. There's one confirmed death, and, it is, and while 21 crew members were rescued from the wreckage, they are still missing. It is believed that 6,600 tons of gasoline uh, was loaded onto the ship and delivered prior to the mishap. <sighs> I'm Ben Morgan with an extra special report for NASA News. I'm with two recent graduates, Tori and Michelle, two lovely uh, girls who have graduated NASA. And what's it like being a freshman at your college in Boston? Um, so I go to Boston University, uh, and it's really fun. I like it a lot. I like being in the city and being able to walk everywhere has been awesome. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And I go to Emerson College, and I'm also in Boston. And just like Michelle said, it's awesome being right in the city and having so many opportunities for um, just fun things to do. And you're both working in like a film, correct? I'm actually majoring in math education. Gotcha. And I'm communications disorders. Oh, okay, so I thought you worked on a few music videos. No, 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 no that, was, that was totally Yeah, right. I've done a few music videos. Gotcha. So would you say you used uh, what you learned from the music, from making a music video from uh, Ms. McCauley's class? 
Definitely. The experience in the video tech classes that you get at NOSET really helped me um, going into Emerson and working on film projects, just having some experience. Gotcha. So would you say you used uh, a lot of what you learned from uh, NOSET to your college? Definitely. NOSET prepared me super well for college. Uh, it's really rigorous and um, you can take a lot of fun classes and you get to choose what you want to do, which is kind of like college, so. Yeah. That's good. If, is there any advice you want to give out to any of those students? Um, if you're not sure where you want to go, I would just tour a lot of places, um, do a lot of research, and then just see what you like and what you don't like, and that will get you pretty far. All right. But uh, who is the best teacher overall at NOSET? It's hard to pick. Um, pretty much all my teachers at NASA prepared me really well, um, and college has been really fun so far. Uh, gotcha. But what's your advice for applying for a college, if you have to say, if you're a senior doing it last minute or just a freshman thinking of it? Um, I think definitely just what Tori said, like try to tour as many schools as you can, do research. It's super important to like be on a campus and see what the feel is like, because that's a big part of being at college, so. Gotcha. Well, I thank you for your time. Thank you. And good luck with school. Thank you very much. And I've been working, and that's our special report.